came into being uh, at a point in time and space. So that does in fact fit quite well with what we see in scripture. Uh, there are some other places where, uh, you know, I find it remarkable that the description of the origin of plants and uh, animals is that the, the wording does not say God spoke and it was just that just those words it actually says God called the earth to bring forth plants and it did and a little later God called the earth the ground to bring forth animals and it did so that could have been an all at once thing or it could have been an evolutionary process and either one of those actually fit the text and I don't so I'm not a concordist in the sense that I think that that was trying to tell people that hey life evolved but it is written in a way that demonstrates that the that what we might think of as a conflict is artificial that the evolutionary model is that the earth brought forth plants and the earth brought forth living animals and, and i don't mind finding some some pieces of concordant uh concordance between scripture and science in that regard without trying to force mm. the the text to be a scientific text and i think that's a good segue into the first layer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you mentioned the framework view mm -hmm. and the framework view 